We haven't done this in a while. We're a little rusty. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome. What? Hello, hot boys and girls. Hello, hot boys and hot girls. Welcome back for another fabulous iteration of Hot Girl Kitchen. We're coming to you with a fresh new episode. Um, and before we get started in our episode, we just want to make sure that you're subscribing. We know that we had a little lull in the content. So, um, we've been busy. We've been very busy. Working. Working, working and then working more. Working, working. And then also working because unfortunately we're not monetized yet. So we have so, to actually still pay our bills um, with our real jobs. So when you hit that subscribe button, each subscriber gets us, us one closer. step closer. We're um, pretty, we're like halfway there. We have about 500 subscribers. That's pretty good in the course of a year, if you ask me. We really haven't had any like viral videos. Like we've had a couple that have gotten like 1,000 to 2,000 views but none that are like, you know, a million views where you get a ton of subscribers. Yeah. So we're just very organically growing. Right up the stream there. Yes, Whatever. right up the stream. Whatever I'm saying. Yeah. But those of you who are subscribed, we want to thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for your for patience. Pushing us forward. And I know that we just established a few um, episodes ago that – you're not wondering what we're making because it's, in fact, in it's the in title. It's in the title. It is, isn't it? But this is just a fun little cocktail that you may have had a similar take on it. A gin sour is not completely unique. But we are going to do some fun stuff today to jazz it up, which we always do. We haven't made a gin cocktail in a little while, so we're ready for alcohol poisoning. We're ready to give you guys some fresh new content. And get a little wild. Period. I mean, hot girl summer is commencing. It's 90 degrees outside right now as we're filming. And I'm wearing leather pants. Clearly, I need to get in this mood. So that I put the leather pants away. And bring out some coochie cutters to wear. <laughs> <laughs> some booty shorts. Daisy dudes. Because these are not <laughs> weather appropriate. <laughs> They sure aren't. You're stuck in winter. I am. I'm so stuck in winter. Stuck in all black. Depression. You know. I need, <laughs> we some need something to light and bright us. in my yeah. Like alcohol. <laughs> Even though alcohol is really a depressant, which makes no sense because if it's a depressant, why do I dance on the table when I drink it? You know. I guess some people do get a little depressed. Some people we know, unfortunately, but not us. Not we're us really once. we're the life of the party. I would say. Period. So, with that... Yeah, let's get the party started. Yeah, let's get this party started and make you this fabulous cocktail. So, what are we going to need in our gin? So, what's a normal gin sour and how are we spicing it up? Like, what A gin sour are? just typically is gin and egg white and then your sours of some sort, which is either going to be lime and lemon, just lemon, maybe a little simple syrup. So... Because we're doing a couple complex ingredients, we're not going to add simple syrup. So this might be just like a more refreshing, lighter um, cocktail compared to, you know, some of our... Yeah, like simple that. syrup makes it a little thicker. And lately, I feel like we've been doing a couple like sugary drinks. This is definitely going to be on the lighter side, a little bit healthier compared to those. Great for your hangover. Mm-hmm. And an egg white, like you could drink this and then go to the gym. Like, because don't you got lots of something... From egg whites. Like, bodybuilders eat them. Protein? Maybe that. Yeah, the fat's in the yolk and the protein is in the egg whites, I'm pretty sure. All I know is I'm about to drink the whatever she gives me, so. So, I guess we'll just do one cocktail at a time so you can get the vibe. We're going to be using blueberries. That's how we're jazzing it up today. Um, obviously, our simple sour ingredients which is just dry gin lemon and the egg whites and then we are going to this is something we just thought of on the fly um i happen to have these hibiscus lacroix which aren't super common lacroix they were a little bit tougher to track Limited down edition. yeah um my roommate really likes them so my mother found them for him where did she find them i think she found them at all these she loves all these doesn't she she does we're going to do a 
few of these blueberries. We'll just do like a little handful here. Maybe two more. Blueberries. We'll do two ounces of our dry gin. Ooh, extra full two ounces. Mm. And then I already have some cut lemon, so let me just... Grab a piece of lemon. We'll see how much this quarter uh, of I a lemon is. I hate when she does this. Oh, that was actually a pretty graceful squeeze. Oh, no, <laughs> never mind. He spoke too soon. Um, let's do a half a lemon, actually. Oh, this seems really big. Okay, so we did about a half a lemon per one serving. Fabulous. Oh my god, it's everywhere. It is everywhere. All right, you can... Uh, I can come yeah, back. You can come back. To the forefront. So we're just going to go ahead and muddle our blueberries into the lemon juice and the um, gin. And just really break these up. And the reason we're going to be using an egg white, this is going to really froth up the cocktail. So instead of being a... You know, blueberries are obviously a darker fruit, or berry, I mean. So you would think this would be like a dark blue-looking drink, but it actually is going to, what's well, supposed to turn out more of like a pink because we have the oh, egg white. I personally love cocktails that have egg whites in them. They're, they're like very unique. Anytime I see one on the menu, I get it. No matter what's in it, I'm like, I'm sure it'll be good with that egg white. So my favorite part of any egg experience is trying to crack this in a clean way. So we're just going to do it the old fashioned way. You can also do this not directly into your shaker so that you don't risk getting the yolk in there. Yeah, but we live on the edge. We do. And that looks like that looks, that looks pretty like perfect to me. A lot of egg white, yep. And we're wasting the, the yolk, throwing it right on in the trash. As you can see, we already sh have shaken one. So now we're going to do our seconds. I, have you heard um, percolator? Mm. It's time for the percolator. That's how I feel when I when you're shaking. <laughs> All right, we're gonna strain this. We we're gonna try to strain without a strainer before, and it was just getting didn't happen. Yeah, it was getting too much of the the blueberries. Blueberries. We which, still get a little, but so you want to kind of we're serving it in a coupe glass, which um is really personal preference. Like, there's no official glassware. Yeah, you can either do we, we're doing it this way because. We want to, you'll see our fabulous garnish that we're doing. And to me, this garnish looks extra special in a coupe glass. So we're just going to top it with a little bit of the hibiscus soda just to give it that fizz. If you can't find this limited edition article. You can really just add any do soda water. Regular soda water. Fabulous. And now for the exciting garnish. Yep, we're going to do... Some lemon. A lemon wheel. And, and we're favorite, not going to stop there. Our favorite tool. We're just going to, hopefully this turns out. Yeah, I'll let you do the first one. Oh, there we go. We're just burning our lemon in the glass. This could be technically a little bit dangerous because you're in a glass. Yeah, I, I was thinking maybe we should put some protective Ooh, eyewear on. Look at the smoke coming up. Wow. Wow, I love it. That is truly a fun experience. Okay, I want to do the second one. Yeah, I think that that's good. Oh, wow, we're definitely going to need a little picky. 
And it's great to do it in the glass. Just oh my god, I caught it on fire. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. You don't want to do it too, too much because like I said, you are in a glass cup. You just have to be a little bit careful. But you're getting the smokiness and the burntness of the lemon infused into that froth into the glass. and into your drink. So um, it's a fabulous little flavor profile that we're creating here. It sure is. Oh, we love to see that. This is so fun. I love to play with fire. It's giving arsonists. It sure is. Well, before we dig right in, we are going to get a couple I'm gonna get a couple tips. photos while it's looking fabulous. Mm-hmm. And we'll be right back. Try our brilliant cocktail. They look quite delicious. It's delicious with a side of danger. I love that. Because you never know if you're going to explode the glass, <laughs> catch yourself on fire. It's all part of the fun. Yeah. We love the risk. Cheers to that. Living on the edge. Wow. Ooh, is that bomb? Mm-hmm. It's the perfect amount of citrus and lemon, but it's not too, too lemony, but I think that, that it gives it the right like pitch in the drink. But also, I think the hibiscus really gives it a little something, too. I can, I'd love to give a detailed review, but I think I need a few more sips. I just can't put it down. It really it's is. It's so good. It really is. It's very refreshing. Um, like we said, the lemon in the... And the, the, like, the sourness of the lemon is the perfect balance to the sweetness of the blueberries and the hibiscus. It's, like, the perfect balance. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I, I, the, I literally already said that. <laughs> the egg white, I think, helps cut the sourness, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, I love the egg white. Mm -hmm. The egg white's everything for me. And then we have a little bit of our char from our torch experience. If this you really don't, is fabulous. If you don't happen to have a blue torch on hand, and you do... Maybe he's a, a long lighter. Maybe. I don't know if that is the same effect. It's not as intense. It might take you a long time to get... Actually, I think it might be the opposite because it's like an actual flame. Like, I feel like the torch is like a flame, but it's like spread out. You know what I mean? Whereas like the actual flame will like just light right on fire. You know? My recommendation Just is get a torch maybe from you, Amazon. Maybe you can't smoke it right in the glass... But I have done this at my apartment before where we do not have a torch. And I will just, like, on my cast iron skillet, like, get it really hot and then just put the lemons right on it. And then they, and then they, they look the same. And then they do a little char. Yeah. yeah. They'll give you a char. Yeah. Cheers to that. Honestly, this is, this is fabulous. It is. I mean, I don't even really like gin at all. And you can't taste gin in this at all. And that's the best part about a gin cocktail, too, is because I a G and T sounds disgusting to me. I Didn't you used to drink those? No, I used to drink whiskey coke. Oh, that. I knew it was something gross. Yeah, now I just do tequila. We don't really mess with anything else. But I will say I do love a gin cocktail. Gin is like the perfect liquor to really get wild with your cocktails I think mm, because it has so many different notes and works with so many different you know flavors and it can easily be hidden because it's like what's the word I'm looking for herbal like that's a good word for it because that's why I don't like it because to me it tastes like Christmas trees yeah it's like piney yeah but it, it can be hidden depending right. on the cocktail because you know we love an aviation. You mm -hmm. can't go wrong. You know we love herbs. We love an herbal moment. So if an herb would, you know, balance your cocktail's flavor, then that's a good a good way to describe it, mm -hmm. herbal. Because it really can, yeah. you know. Another thing you could do, I'm just really reaching for the stars here. If you do not have the LaCroix, you could do, they have a new um, blackberry 
White Claw, like the new flavors of White Claw. I feel like the Blackberry White Claw would be a nice little... I feel like that would be so fun and a great way to get alcohol poisoning. Yeah, if you want to really up the ante with these cocktails... I would say really any... I, see, I'm not the biggest White Claw fan. Um, but I like to mix them in with cocktails because I think... I find that they're a little sugary and like artificially sugary. You know what I mean? And I always get a bad hangover when I drink White Claws. But other brands of hard seltzers I could get behind. So, like, Wild Basin has mm -hmm. very cool flavors. They actually have, like, a, a basil flavor. You can probably find a hibiscus. They do. It's hibis hibis It's Wild Basin, hibiscus, and rose or something, I think, maybe. Perfect. Throw that Don't in. Don't quote me on it. Um, we're little, not sponsored. Yep. This is organic um, advertising. Yeah, and just get a little bit of alcohol poisoning. Get wild. Give it your all. And, you know, if you do make these cocktails at home, do not forget to tag us. Post because and tag. you know who makes her stuff and doesn't tag us? Your fave. Because she's embarrassed that she couldn't have ever done anything like this without us. But we know that you love us and you support us and you want us to feel good about I, ourselves. True. I, like, I've, I actually, like, I've had people text me and be like, it's so good, but I can't post it because it doesn't look as good as what you did. And I'm like... Yeah, that's are, literally um, the easiest part. The presentation is not hard. And you know what? On that note, we're gonna go ahead and finish our cocktails because I'm I'm feeling myself now. I mean, this is just what I needed to get started for a long day. And emphasis on long because any anybody that spent time with Melissa knows like every minute feels like an hour. Um, so a nice long day of filming. Bruh, girl, shit. <laughs>